sponsored by Women Technology. Take advantage of our end of summer promotion, offering a $30 off bundle discount on the whole test takeout panel controls through September 2021. Hello everyone, we hope you're all doing very well. We're cracking on with our final countdown campaign, day three, the Battle of the Bulge. Take it away, Starscream. Roger, so um, with all of our success that we've had going back in time and uh, changing battles for the better, we've been asked to go ahead and uh, continue going back in history and adding our modern G G ah, GR technology to uh, different battles. And this is the Battle of the Bulge, where if you remember, the 101st Airborne was trapped behind German lines when they did their last final um, offensive in the West. And we are going to try to stem any further casualties that were happening during the battle. Uh, the Germans had already done their bulge, their their large attack. They've surrounded the 101st, and they have armor moving into the area. Plus, we also have um, uh, some armor that's continuing west. So we've been brought in with our modern equipment to try to stop it all. Roger. So that, this kind of gives an overview of what we have going on. Uh, we have uh, some strike missions, some cap. And then obviously a whole bunch of casts going on. Uh, the weather is bad. It is negative five degrees. So helicopters and other aircraft, make sure you turn on your, your heaters and your pedo heat, everything. So all that stuff works. Um, I can't get it to snow with the new clouds, uh, but we do have some, some pretty uh, low visibility, even though it's not terrible. You can still somewhat see, but you guys will see when you get in the mission. That, uh, that is probably one of the reasons why the Allies weren't able to fly during the Battle of the Bulge until near the very end. Tab A uh, is our cap. So we have um, F-16s that are going to be taking care of the north flank, Hornets that are going to be taking care of the southern flank, and Tomcats taking care of the center. Again, we have uh, German fighters coming in from the flanks, bombers trying to come in and bomb the 101st, even though it's in bad weather. The Germans are just throwing everything they've got they possibly can also please be aware that there is uh, the new german jet fighter is out there bouncing around somewhere so uh be aware as you guys are dealing with your regular aircraft um cap doesn't need to take off first but they definitely need to um get into uh the enemy terror because they need to provide the air cover so everybody please make sure before you take off and start going over into enemy territory that you uh, let the cap do that first uh, task B, let's see here. So we have the Viggins and the Mirages are going to be doing a deep strike. Uh, Mr. Bloodknock, do you have your cartridges that you put together? I'll send them over to me. But I, there are waypoints that I put into the mission, but he was using those as a guide to put in his own waypoints. So waypoint one is basically for the, both the Mirages and the Viggins. Uh, it's kind of like your your initial point, and you're then going to dive down and do something close to waypoint two, three, four. And then five is actually going to be your target. You're going to be flying through this valley. Uh, there is some German AAA that's around the your target, which is going to be a bunch of aircraft that is on the airfield. Uh, Mirages, your waypoint five and six are the adjacent airfields. I want you to bomb the runways if you can. So you can use those cool new uh, Mirage runway destroying rocket things that they have if you'd like. And go ahead and bomb either waypoint five or six. Uh, for the Viggins, 6 is going to be back to Sanaki, because I don't know if you have enough fuel to make it all the way back. This is also for everybody. If you can't make it back all the way to where you're supposed to be going, you can go ahead and go to Sanaki or Katezi and land there. There's no reason why you can't. Uh, task C, we have the five German convoys that are attacking the 101st from all directions. Uh, we have uh, Warthogs and Harriers. Your waypoint 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is on the main MSRs, the main roads that the Germans are going to be taking to get to the 101st inside Bastogne. So if you go to those areas and where those roads are and then look up, up and down the road, hopefully you should be able to find the convoy and then bomb them. The only one that's not on a road is the German convoy that's near uh, Waypoint 1. They're just actually going cross-country, so you have to look for them. Uh, you have about 7 to 10 vehicles that consist of armor, and then you're going to have a second convoy right behind them that consists of 7 to 10 vehicles that are is the supply and the troops. So um, obviously the armor is your primary target because the armor is the one that's uh, going to make a bad day for the troops on the ground. Task E, P-51s and P-47s, you're going to be uh, pulling escort for uh, sling loading. So we are going to be trying to get some resupplies into the 101st to help them. That is in the way of Humvees of tow missiles. Be just enough 
that a hip can go ahead and pick them up and move them. So there, where you start hips, there is a container directly in front of your helicopter. If you want to go ahead and pick that up and sling load it and take a southerly route to where the 101st is, you should see green smoke inside their, um, inside their uh, security ring that they've got set up their cordon. Um, and you can drop the container there. Up there, uh, there will be a Humvee with a tow missile that appears on the ground. At that point, you can land your helicopter and drive around the Humvee, or you can go back and rearm and refit and come back and take out targets of opportunity. You're more than welcome to. And task are, are the attack helicopters. The attack helicopters, whether you're a K-50 or even MI-24s, if you'd rather help here, um, is the bulge that is continuing to push towards our airfields. Um, Third Army is already there and had set up some uh, roadblocks. Uh, they will pop blue smoke as helicopters get within one mile of their location. Uh, but we need those helicopters to go there and take out those armored vehicles that are coming down here. In other words, they're going to continue bulging through to the west. So uh, Waypoint 1 is the, the northern units that are blocking. Waypoint 2 is the southern units that are blocking. If you help take out both those convoys, you still have time. You can always rearm, refit at Kutesi, and then go do targets of opportunity at Waypoint 3, which is over where the 101st is. So there's plenty of stuff to do. There are a few other um, supply coin convoys running around that are targets of opportunity. You're more than welcome to take those out. Are there any questions at this time? Okay, guys, the flights today. Anku, F-14 Bravos. Oh, uh, actually, yes. I'll, um, all, the, all the units here are named after um, Grim Reapers, but in every different culture around the world. So... Huh. That's why they. That's why the flights are named that way. I figure if we're Grim Reapers, we should all be Grim Reapers. We're clever, and we've got a sock, tanky, Whistler, and skill, macabre, mirage, Elo, hail, eight C two, chopstick, Jakar, Bakabu, Santa Muerta, P fifty one, Star Scream, Hasina, Dallahan, Bog, Nightmare, Shrak, Mookie. Banshee, Wigan, Blood, Cap, Stoat, Chef, King, Yama, Harrier, Cyphostatic Atomic, oh my goodness, Smirch, P-47, Bean, Sith, Viper, Darber, Thanatos, uh, Sling Loading, Hip, Tuxor, you recovered yet, Tuxor? Not at all. Excellent. Bendy. Smirt. Ground attack. Red, Blight, the Saint. You recovered yet, the Saint? No, I went to book a day off today. <laughs> Undertaker. Uh, ground attack. Cover. Obi. Maworth. Ground attack. Artie. Let's go, go, go. You don't need to press Control Alt C until that. Uh, and the same name as the cartridge I sent you. Two cartridge loaded, ready for a waypoint check. Okay, everyone needs to arm up with four times BK-90s and you want the Enjoy. mixed one. Roger. My favourite weapon. Apologies for being quiet though, I just got to sort out a couple of things to the tunnel target and then I'll be right with you. Any solution on the flight? Radio check over. Yep, okay, so I've got the uh, TOT sorted. Uh, annoyingly, uh, Starscream changed the mission start time, which means my lovely setup in the cartridge didn't work. So essentially, we're going to be flying quite a long way today, as you noticed our M4 is actually off the scale that we can show, mm -hmm. so it's well over 400 kilometers. Uh, we're going to be flying not ludicrously low for the first half, because we're loaded up with four BK-90s, and this aircraft does not fly well with four BK-90s, but also we can bring four BK-90s, mm. which is for maximum awesome. Mm. Uh, so we're going to be flying at Mach 0.6 for the first half of the journey, right. and then for the last two waypoints, that's uh, B2 to B3 and B3 to M4, we have Mach 0.9, which means you're going to be in more or less between stage 2 and stage 3 of burner. This is so we can launch the BK-90s at their maximum range. Uh, we are going to be a little bit um, limited on fuel, so we're going to be RT being back to Sanaki. Just be cautious on your route out to make sure 
sure that uh, you don't burn up too much fuel. As for the setup, at the moment you should be master mode BER. Next, go to your QFE and enter 0921 and report when you have done that. Two. Make sure your weapon selector is to attack. The two weapon switches need to be in the up position, that's the default, so you won't have to change anything there. And report when that is set. Two. Three. Okay, the next we need to set the time on target, so select the data panel selector to TID and then the in-out switch to in. You need to type in 11-15-0-0. Two. Next you need to go to tact and in, and you need to type 9-2-1 Confirm with LS. Two. Cool. So what you've done there is help the BK90s to go one in front and one behind, so they, they have a long setting. Cool, that should be all of the setup for the weapons. Ella's looking menacingly at us. Ella, are you coming with us? Uh, 
Flight's been advised we've uh, managed to drop Humvees into uh, Bastogne and we are heading... So your target speed is 0.6 mark. If you're at that speed, you won't... Uh, your TOT will remain constant. What are you guys doing? Uh, I'm going relatively low, about, uh, let's see, about 300 meters off the QH. Watch about that weather? Copy. Uh, four is only five seconds behind. Lovely stuff. Uh, try and stay five seconds ahead of time for now. It just gives you a little bit of time to play with. Uh, when there are corners and things, you will lose time. So having a little bit in the bank can be quite handy. Copy. Plus two seconds, and right now I'm minus two five. 
Uh, that is a bit odd. What speed are you doing? I'm at point six seven mark. Interesting. Uh, can you just go off TID and back onto it again for me? Done minus two or three. Hmm, interesting. Uh, it's possible that your nav system has drifted and as you came over the land, it corrected itself and discovered that it was in fact not where it, it thought it was. Probably. Copy, yeah, it's probably that. Yeah, so just keep it above Mach point three, and it'll eventually settle back to the correct point. So you're probably finding you're keeping the TOT relatively in check at the moment, but you'll find that when we get towards either the mountains or we have to turn, that suddenly you'll go massively out of whack. Because if you have to go up a hill, you'll obviously slow down, and that will mess with your TOT. If you have to go around a corner, um, you can't do that instantaneously. You can't just turn 60 degrees to the right uh, in no time at all. And that will tend to drag your TOT back. So in both those instances, you will need to just apply a little bit of power. And this is why I say keep five seconds ahead for now, because that will mean if you lose a bit of time, it's OK, because it'll just bring you back to the zero point. I believe it's sky up there, hello. I'm not up there, I'm on Blood's wing. You're on my wing. Uh, who's wing? Supercat. Oh, nice one. Another uh, one on the DOT is uh, when we swap between Mach point six and point nine. Obviously, if you don't, you can't accelerate instantaneously, and that will bring your time back again. So, I recommend just before you hit B two, is start to accelerate, uh, and that should even it out a little bit. Only have to be say two, three kilometres before, not much. I don't think so. You can take the traffic track downwind. Well, it's trying to simulate the conditions and the actual battle of the bulge, but the snow isn't working at the moment, so it sort of looks a bit near. Well, now the weather looks quite fair. Two reporting 20 Swedish miles to waypoint two. Yep, and if you haven't done so already, drop your external fuel tank. Oh, whoops. Embarrassing for me. That should give you a little bit more uh, power to play with. Three tanks off. Four tanks off. Right, I'm going to sit and read the paper, boys, because we've got 200 kilometres to go. Can I just uh, report in at their fuel status, please? Two uh, 96%. Three 96%. Okay, that's fine. Four 94%. Cool, uh, we've all got plenty of fuel, so that shouldn't be a concern. And we are going to absolutely rinse through it in the last couple of legs, but they're not too long. Yeah, you do. 
Okay. Yeah, but we're going so fast they shouldn't be able to catch up with us unless they time their dive absolutely perfectly. Yeah, we can still outrun them and then slow down. Yeah. Okay, 170 kilometers to go, 170 kilometers to go. And Cap, I should just do that, it's hurting cold, get it on autopilot and film this, because if we do pull off this DOT, it should be a lot of explosions going off at once. Yes, ma'am. So I'm going for the adjacent airfield to the right first, then I'm going to swing around and come back and try to catch up with the guys and drop some snakes. Nice. If you can do all of that in this weather, I'll give you a friggin' medal. You should get the vegan out of it, you'll like it. It's just your, up your alley. Thanks for the vegan, buddy. I'm not getting up there, I'm vegan, cat. Cut it out. It's not like you think it is, it's actually really easy. Not according to space, yeah. <laughs> well, mm. I find the mirror harder yeah. than the vegan, put it that way. Okay, once you don't set up on the ground properly, then it's lovely to fly, but let's get it right first time. Yeah, the basic premise is you get absolutely everything done on the ground and then you do maybe one or two things before releasing the weapon. Apart from that, it just, yeah, computer deals with it for you. I always admired the aircraft. It's a beautiful aircraft. Supersonic biplane. I love it. Supersonic biplane? I love the lineage. It has a good lineage. Track in. Uh, the, what was it? Uh, the barrel. Yep. What was that called? I've forgotten. The barrel, right? Yeah, it's called JA something, I can't remember. AA 6 or 2 or 3. Tumman, it's called the Tumman. Another little helper that can uh, guide you. If you look at the uh, velocity indicator, the vertical fin, if you're going too slowly, it will be inside the circle. If you're too fast, it'll be outside of the circle. So your goal is to keep it pretty much on the circle. Sunlight. Actual real sunlight. Noted. Look at that. Uh, the only problem with it, and why I don't tell people this until they're used to the system is that when you're really close to a waypoint, if you're say five seconds ahead of time, but you're five kilometers away from the waypoint, it will tell you to slow down to some insane speed because it's trying to get you on time at the next waypoint and it can confuse people a bit. How Swedish. 130 kilometers guys, 130 kilometers, yo. Hundred kilometers to go. But once you get into the point where you're dropping the weapon, just screw the TOT, you've done what you can do. Focus on deploying the weapons, then getting the hell out of Dodge. But if you do everything right up to that point, it should be more or less within a couple of seconds of everybody else. Well, we should be literally set the master mode, set your bar, trigger. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, do make sure as well you unsafe the trigger. It's a thing I always keep forgetting to tell people because I have my bound to a two-stage trigger. Uh, so if you don't have that, you will need to unsafe before you release these things. 
On time, on schedule. Dauber, how the hell did you land that thing? With skills, son. Skills. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Oh, where's Ello gone? Where's my beloved Ello? Did he finally drink too much coffee? Oh, this mission never ends. Come on. Ah, oh, stretch those legs, Cap. 80 kilometers to go. 80 kilometers to go. <laughs> Hello's back. We've got a few uh, tall hills ahead. Yes, we have. Where's my beloved Hello? There he is. Too much trouble. Just make sure you put a little bit of power on to uh, yeah, see if he doesn't drop back. Oh yeah, that's a thing. That's happened. I saw he's on time. As I say, uh, get a few of those, get a few seconds ahead of time because as we approach the next waypoint, uh, you will need to accelerate up to Mach point nine, and you will likely lose a few of those seconds. And because you're going to be so close to your maximum speed, it's very difficult to regain them. Four. Five Three. finished miles. Uh, I've just passed the 50 miles point and I'm hoping that'll swap from miles to kilometers any second now. Those are some big bottom hills, boys. Three, five kilometers. Three, have you dropped back a little bit? Any cap, any cap, this is Starscream just north of Bath. Just uh, check your TOT, right make right sure you're is an armor at point least five out. seconds ahead of time. Just north of Bath Stone on the road over. Oh, seven copies. Okay, all right, well, play by it just seems like you've uh, changed all of that. Uh, Okay, so once we are three kilometers from the halfway point, I want you all to go to the power and accelerate up to Mach point nine. The waypoint should swap over to the next one, and then you need to maintain Mach point nine as close as you can to keep that TOT error. Good. Again, uh, keep no a few seconds yet. ahead of time because it's very difficult to regain them. There'll be a slight turn. Uh, some of you, the turn might be a little bit more severe than others on the on waypoint three, and that's where you're likely to lose a couple of seconds. Then, once you have M4, that's when we'll go into our weapon setup. We'll just simply attack, unsafe the trigger, and fly towards the target, maintaining that T.O.T. I'll go, through, uh, I'll go through the rest of the uh, steps when we get to M4, so I don't overload you too much info. Two, ten kilometers. Thank you. 
two full power. Here we go, boys. Check with short final of the Cap on time.
Oh no. Yo. They're fluttering. The little black. Shacks. We might have missed you on the end there, but oh well. Eyes on uh, bombs that fell outside of the target area. Yeah, they occasionally do that for some reason. Just to get one or two. Oh, no, nope, those are the ones that are very dead. To hit civilian area. Uh, it might have been buildings in the way. I found this quite hastily, so I didn't consider that kind of stuff, but it's fine, we've destroyed a good chunk of them, and they look awesome. Hold on, boys. I didn't see that coming. Hello can come along and gun a few things. As far as I can tell, all the big energy came in on time. There's a lot of stuff on fire there, you know. Hey, Rob, we're not. Run the runway. Completely uh, the wrong runway. Completely the wrong runway. And he didn't drop his arms anyway. Here's your bearing. Too much coffee, hello. If you want to change the exact waypoint, I can get you the code of the code to tell you how to go straight there. Give me a moment. Thicker, thickest clown I've ever oh, really seen. Oh, oh you're not fuel. Oh, you're not fuel. And in and type 9014. Did not see that coming. L Mao. Did not see that coming. Camp. Done. Actually, I'm going there by hand, guys. You just, you three just make your way over there. Four doors, uh, so everyone else go act, pause and out, and then press L Mal, that should give you L1 in the top right, and also direct you towards Katezi Airfield. Lovely bit of cloud, boys, lovely bit of cloud, look at that. Come right back on the throttle, because we are probably around 15 to 20% fuel at this point. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yeah, don't worry about that. Um, we're lightly loaded, um, if you climb up to, say, a kilometre. Relatively low on the throttle, you can probably still go at Mach 0.7. It'd be nice and time. efficient. You may not get too many go around. Yeah, we're about 12 miles out in the Hines. Sorry, it's 20%. Yeah, they're almost in the town center. They're by the green smoke. Over. Gets RDB, baby. Ah, uh, where's my ADI? Where's my ADI? There it is. Lovely bit of IFR, boys. Nothing can go wrong. Yeah, I'll do a bit more practice. I appreciate it could be a bit frustrating when... Uh, oh, there he is. ...teaching new piece, so thank you. That's all right, uh, this is not really an ideal teaching scenario where you're thrown straight into it and the time pressure as well. It, uh, yeah, and if, if a couple of things go wrong, it, it can be difficult to right. get new things, but you've responded extremely well, and we've hit the target, barring a couple that destroyed a few local orphanages, but... Which uh, runway vector do you want to land on, guys? Green smoke on the road. I guess the one we're pointed at. <coughs> too far. What are Yeah, that's too far. Literally, the land's just disappeared. The land has just disappeared. That's just aces. There it is. I see it. I see it somewhere. There it is. That's land. Hello. In theory, at some point, I should run into a base. 
Mecca, 18% gasoline. Oh, not me, baby. Thing is pretty damn efficient if you've got it on a low setting and you're not an afterburner. Forty-nine ground kills as well. Oh yes. Especially when you got four of them. Yeah, I think we did miss a few because of those uh, BKs that went astray, but oh well. I had two late coming off. Um, don't know why, or maybe my trick was playing up, but... Uh, they took a little while to come off, which is why I said, you know, hold the trigger down and wait for the first two, then let go and hold the trigger uh, away for the second two. Row of four burning tanks. And a row, and they've placed them two burning tanks, and in the middle there is one tank firing a green tracer and one APC. Roger, Archie, hind on station. Close to the uh, green flares being shot out by one of our friendly vehicles. That's a stupid base. Tally green smoke, I think that might be the base. Yeah, just get over the uh, target and it seems there's quite a lot of them still alive. Oh, well, we're not. I think that sometimes DCS statics can be a bit stubborn. Mm. Yeah, they don't really have a problem on them. Yeah, they're shooting at the tank. Aircraft be advised, you have two friendly hinds in the mix over here, Bastogne. They're blowing stuff up. Oh, I said my, uh, my time on target went all weird. It was when I was holding down the uh, trigger. Safety. Oops. I'm embarrassed by it. Sorry, I never noticed it. It reloads immediately the trigger and it does the same thing you take second before I release the weapon. I've got a trigger guard on my throttle, so I tend to pull that and then pull the trigger underneath. So gun. Did it just go to zero? At zero, one, one, zero, one, one of flashing, as soon as I release the trigger safety. Uh, Jim went back to the TID. That so group is now destroyed. I think all that's telling you is how many weapons you still got. Ah, good point. No, that makes sense. Because you had no sidewinders, and you got yeah two um, two BK nineties, four BK nineties. Yeah, nothing in the middle. Another double one, and then no sidewinder again. Yeah, the little confirmation is destroyed in that group. Lovely little firefight going off by that uh, green smoke. Yes, there is. Ich bin ein Hind. Don't hit him, Cap. Don't hit him. Whatever happens, don't hit him. Jesus fucking Christ. Hello, cover. Hi, Cap. I don't suppose you know where the base is because I can't find it and I've only got 10% fuel. Uh, follow the road. Okay. You should see green smoke. Yeah, just keep heading about due west. 270 cap. Yes, sir. Be careful, there's something shooting at me out the way in on that road. So 270, bring it home. I won't dare have shoot you at me. Cover the, for those of you who have uh, put it into 9014, I can't you land my nav on your hand something about a rotor and follow the HUD instructions and it should guide you on to the glide slope. Panzer, for 20 miles. That's good easy. That's a Panzer. We've got the uh, for visuals courtesy from the east, there's power lines. Um, you need to be just slightly to the left of the power lines, like a few hundred meters, and you'll be lined up with the runway. No, but yeah, if you want to try that to the out, that should hopefully guide you down in this bad weather. No, I'll do it by eye, boys. You guys worry a lot.
still a convoy coming in from the northeast. Nine percent fuel. Unsafe your triggers. So there's still a convoy? Roger, there was like four armored vehicles before they blew me up. That's all I could get. Roger, I'll head that way again. I've still got plenty of ATGMs and a little bit of gun. Man, where's this freaking airbase, yo? I heard a Harrier there. It's a bird, what's this? I've got the right, similar line coming off that between smoke where these targets. 8% fuel. Uh, northeast of the... Uh, on the radar scope. They're on a road. Yeah, I think that's uh, basically the, the runway. Roger, I've got a approach. It is a little bit screwy to tell sometimes, so if you uh, oh, 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 do weird stuff, just ignore it and head towards the runway. There's someone here. Who's this? Orange smoke is the target. Yeah, I just put out orange smoke. You, sir, show me which right. way the runway is. Where are they going? Where are they going? They're on final! Cap's hooked up with a couple of Hornets on final, like usually. We're gonna have to hit them from the uh, north side of it. There's buildings in the way. I'm seeing three tanks and one APC by the orange smoke. And there's baggies by the green smoke too. Oh. <sighs> Cap final. It's a bloody Canadian. Bloody Canadian, eh? Sorry, eh? I'll show him how to bloody land. Watch this! Harriers here. There is a whole lot of stuff there. Where there is a Harrier landing on the wrong runway. Copy. Continue traffic, Stokes, one final, two five. Good to see traffic, special. Right, and uh, you'll go there. Oh, my Harry's been on the grass. Push up on the right. One man to go. Oh, geez, they are all over the green. Down the brakes on the reverse. Take the trap in. Stop. I'm going to do a big up man. Ending. Well done, guys. Everyone's back. Time for debrief. I'm not back yet. About to see the most, the fastest landing in the world for Miller. Can we deploy the shoot midair in the rough? Maybe I'll watch 07. Mm, yeah.
yeah, but any, any speed, any speed like that, it just tears off. Who is that? Now, who is that? There's a point Yeah, he has a nightmare. Yeah, Do friendlies in the green smoke? Negative. They're all the table. Right, well done everyone. I will see you in this correct. Don't stall it, hello. Come on. I'm in the rain. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now that was a short landing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. The big W is not going to like that landing, uh, hello. Wow, <laughs> to me, he's 20 meters in the air. He's broken the valued video game. That's a .1 mile uh, landing. And a welcome back, valued humans, or whatever the heck it is you actually are. Weird mission in that lots of different things going on at very different times. Uh, I think we were kind of the last strike going on there, and some residual helicopter stuff going on. Has anyone have got the capacity to debrief or say anything useful? about what went on there, and whether we did the mission or not. Well, Artie, I can report that the two convoys at our northern waypoint one and southern waypoint two were both destroyed by the ground attack hellos. Ground Good. attack hellos then RTB'd, and then heard there were further convoys moving in to the, uh, the main uh, uh, base, and so they reflew out, and they're still engaged at the moment. Andrew. Um. Okay. First squad, send. Okay. This is Damp Sock. Hello, Damp. Hello, Tom, Damp. With the the Tomcat cap, uh, we took off uh, two by two formation out to engage targets to the direct east of Waypoint One, and while well, we did that. Um, I didn't get to see much of it because I caught, I somehow caught a phoenix. Wow. From the wow. rear. Uh, it, it, it doesn't matter. That's good. Uh, one one other tomcat caught a mountain and then two made it back home alive. Yeah. Poor job. Well, you were fighting against very stiff opposition. That's a massive That's bit of sarcasm, by the way. Well, there was one ME262 that got into... Uh, there was a fox in the hen house. To oh, cheeky son of a bee. Yeah, it took out a lot of our ground ca uh, cast. Wow. What was it? What was it? A MiG-15 or something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're nasty, nasty stuff they are. Okay. Uh, to be fair, I actually took two MiG-15s out. There you go. Thank you. I'm on the ball. Uh, next squad. I haven't got the sheet up, so I'm not sure who you are, but send anyway. Hello. Uh, Mirage. Uh, went in with the Viggins. Uh, I was having complications with my release on my bats because I never used them before. But I managed to drop 10 on one runway and the remaining on the other and got back home. Well done. Excellent work. Uh, nothing to say there. Next group. Uh, A10s on the CAS. We kind of all chose a different waypoint and killed lots of stuff. And my game crashed three times, which is excellent. Uh, watch out. Okay. Uh, next squad, please. Is that the Mustangs? Yes, sir. Starscream, Messina. Roger, yeah, we uh, we took off. We escorted the helicopters. Um, 8,500 pounds, maybe a little bit heavy for them. We lost one due to fuel loss, and the other one did get the container down. And then we've been trying to coordinate cast inside Bastogne um, for the rest of the mission and uh, we're getting our butts kicked <laughs> Roger uh, next squad please Cindy Wendy oh and one caveat we got shot down by the uh, German jet fighters because they have 14s didn't do their job damn Sue 262s F-18 I see them I see four 262s coming under the, under the radar cheeky little buggers uh, F, uh, what was it, hello? F-18. F-18, send. I think Nightmare was late. I think she had some issue, so we just took off, uh, flew around, and we had four groups mm -hmm. that we engaged. My first two missiles lost track as soon as I fired them, so I had to re-engage. I think I got four four kills in the end. Roger. Uh, next squad, please. Yours. Yours. You cap. Oh. Blood, send. So our goal was to destroy a bunch of German aircraft on a 
low. His mic's low. Blood, it sounds like you're on the other side of the room. Sounds yeah. like he's in the toilet. You should yeah, do it in the same room. room. Do it in the same room, Blood, as the microphone. Apologies, Discord yes. decided that mm. he wanted to use an entirely different microphone. Excellent. Um, okay, where were we? So, we had a target to strike uh, Tbilisi Airfield, which was a good 400 kilometers from where we were taking off. Uh, we were going to use BK-90s. We had a few issues when before we took off, because uh, both Sto and Spaceship are relatively new to the Vigum. We sorted those out, flew all the way to the target. Uh, we managed to pretty much, I think, get within one second of each other of releasing weapons. We had a slight complication when we arrived, because... There were some buildings in the way. Uh, I'm sure there were several orphanages contained mm. within those, and they got mm. a early Christmas present. Uh, but some of them got through and destroyed most of the German aircraft there. Unfortunately, a few are alive. I suspect that's in part because the statics are a bit stubborn sometimes and refuse to blow up. But I suspect with the amount of cluster munitions we put on that thing, those aircraft will be out of action. And I think everyone landed safely. Excellent news. I've seen a lot of targets hit. I've seen a lot of targets hit. Yeah, well down. done. We had, uh, I don't know, Blood said that we had over 50 kills between us, so something went well. Uh, okay, guys, next squad, whoever you are. ABH. Um, there was only me. Cypher and Tomic are absent without leave. I don't know where they were. Uh, so I tabbed along with the A-10s, and we went and killed lots of incoming convoys. Uh Went back, refueled, rearmed, did it again and again. We still didn't get them all. Well, well, well done anyway for doing good, not dying. Uh, next squad. P-47, me. He's muted. Yeah, Bean was with uh, was with the Mustangs. I got jumped by Happy the uh, 262s, didn't they? Uh, next 16. squad. Dauber. Uh, that would be Dauber and F-16. Uh, got airborne. Got uh, three air-to-air -air kills, took uh, some shots from a MiG-15 that uh, blew off my vertical stabilizer and my horizontal left stabilizer and was, made it back to Granada and landed safely. Well done. Uh, next squad. Uh, yeah, MI-8, uh, Bendy and Tuxor. Um, I think Starscream covered it, but uh, managed to get one crate um, uh, successfully dropped. And then we switched to combined arms and did some uh, cast. Roger. Uh, next squad. So the K-50s. Um, doesn't even say. Come on, guys. They might still be in mission. Tra I think they're right. still in mission. They're All right. Mission. Very good. Um, anyone, anyone else or a roundup from Starscream? Well, just an uh, overview of the helicopters, uh, the attack helicopters, which took out the two convoys advancing on Kutesi at our waypoints one and two, uh, then got involved in the general bun fight going on and still going on from the many convoys that are uh, advancing on uh, the 101sts, and they are still in game, uh, still dealing with them. Yeah, we're we're RTB now, but uh, a very successful flight, I think. And as far as I'm aware, no losses. Uh, uh, Blight went down in his K-50, but I rescued him in my Gazelle and got him back to Katezi. Yeah, between uh, myself, OB, and RU, we took out uh, 23 tanks wow. and APCs. So. In, in what in what were you in? Hind and uh, Gazelle. It really is amazing. If you want to take out stuff, just get helicopters. That's one thing I've learned. Um, not with me driving them, obviously. Well done. Um, you happy to round up there, guys? At least for my part of it. The uh, objective is swimming with enemy vehicles, yes, so I don't think we so. did all that well. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to say because if there wasn't a time limit, I'd, you'd all just take off again and you know, all the guys that survived take off again and carry on blowing up, but we have got a time limit. So we didn't kill everything that we need to do in the time limit, but we're just going to pretend that you did take off again and went up and finished them off, but I haven't got any number counts of how many there are. But that was a lot to blow up in bad conditions. So I'll, I'll say this: well, they definitely reduced the amount of force yeah. that the Americans. Have I mean, to I do. mean, I've seen, I've seen kills on the scoreboard of like seventy or eighty combined. I mean, that's a lot of stuff to kill in ninety minutes, plus refueling yeah. and all well, that. So. I'm currently RTB now because a Red Hornet flying formation with me in my hand. How about that? How about that? I don't know who that is. 
who that is. Buddy, There's only one guy who flies the Red Hornet uh, around uh, here. That's, that's I Mr. think that's Nightmare. Yeah, that's Mr. Mm -hmm. Canada, eh? Yeah, it is. Yes, yeah, it's it's Canadian skin. In fairness, he's uh, he's holding very tight formation. Mm, that's probably luck. Right. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna trumpet that together and somehow make most of you look good, which is, let's face it, not easy. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> that, guys. No. <laughs> and, and, and I'll see you later. Later, Cap. See you later.